voice of God, voice of God. Ah, I am so excited about the voice of God. And the good news is I have my copy. I hope you have your own copy. Ah, you can sponsor as many people as possible with the voice of God. Hallelujah. This November edition is so good and so excellent. Ah, let's celebrate our man of God, Apostle Dennis Amos Emojo. And today, Thursday, the 24th of November, 2022. We are the voice of God from a man of God, Apostle Dennis Amos Emojo. And I just love the theme of the voice of God. Believe in God. Believe in God. John chapter 3 and verse 16 is our theme scripture. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you believe in Jesus, you have been separated from death. Say, because I believe in Jesus, I am separated from death. Hallelujah. Now, in our opening scripture, this is very clear. It is not a promise. This is a decree of the living God. You get a mark on you, and that is why the angel of the Lord comes around you and delivers you from any trouble. According to Psalms chapter 34 and verse 7. Now by his mercies, God made you alive with Christ. According to Colossians chapter 2 and verse 13. Now this means that whatever was pursuing you, God neutralized as soon as you came to Christ Jesus. This is why I love the voice of God. If there was any gas at all, it got blotted away. That thing that should have killed you, it can't kill you anymore. Even if someone saw cancer in you, in the eyes of God, you have no cancer. Many die because they believe the wrong report. Meaning they express faith in the wrong report. The operational scent of God is in you. All oh, the operational scent of God is in me in the name of Jesus. The greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. Just say, I am not ordinary. I am an associate of the God kind. Actually, God said in the book of Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6 that you are gods and all of you are children of the most high. That means we have influence here on earth. I am so influential on earth. There is no God without power. Even your village gods have power. Only that theirs is inferior. The question is, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Just say, I know who I am. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. I have rise in the presence of my father. I take advantage of this rise to make changes in my life and my community in the name of Jesus. This is why I love the voice of God. Let's go to the meditation scripture. Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 to 15. The Bible says, and you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having wiped away all the handwriting and requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us. He has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having disarmed principalities. Can you imagine? All principalities have been disarmed. All powers have been disarmed. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord Jesus made a public spectacle of them. Triumphing over them. Hallelujah. Now still in the voice of God. That's why I love the voice of God. We have a very important one here. Bible study plan. And today we're reading Jeremiah chapter 47 and 48 and 2 Peter chapter 3. Now because you have your own voice of God, let's make this prophetic declaration together. I decree and declare that by the power of the Holy Spirit that is at work in me, I take my place and fulfill my ministry as the God man in my world. And I declare that only the righteousness of God prevails in my environment. 
my ministry, my children, my finances. In the name of Jesus, I declare the righteousness of God. Adonai ne no soliki shekradi. 